Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at how I created this uh, generator that adds ropes tied onto any object uh, like this. And yeah, this is a new lecture that I added to my Master Geometry Nodes course. I can see I added two lectures, one about creating uh, procedural clouds and then and then this one where you can create ropes and chains around uh, different objects. Uh, and I'm still going to add more lectures uh, because Geometry Nodes is an ever-expanding uh, thing and there are always new nodes. So anyway, let, let me just take you through this project, but uh, you can watch the whole step-by-step -step video in the course. You can also get the project files from the course page, or if you're a Patreon, you can get the project files uh, there. So this is, by the way, procedure, so I can change the ropes, and you can see that uh, uh, this will change as well. If I go to the hand, I can also adjust uh, the ropes. And uh, there are a lot of settings uh, that you can change uh, to make the ropes more tighter. You can use either ropes or chains. But uh, let me just take you through the breakdown here. I'm just going to go back here. So I start with the mesh, turn it to a volume, distribute some points and uh, instance, some planes, which are going to be our cutters. And uh, those cutters, uh, I use them here. Then I use a mesh boolean. To turn the pieces into something like this. Uh, so whenever I change the seed, uh, this should change. And sometimes you'll see that uh, the entire shape doesn't change, but that's okay because I, I'd let uh, the, the outer shell because I only want these inside pieces. And then I convert into curves just like that. Let me first bake this so that the simulation is faster. So you can see now these are curves. I set up some tilt, uh, give them some thickness. That make, makes them look like ropes. For the most part, that's it. I just join back the original mesh, but I add some attributes to push a bit, basically using the proximity of the ropes to the mesh. And I just use that to scale down the, the shape of the mesh. I can adjust the tightness of the rope around the object. Uh, so something like that. And uh, uh, this attribute here, or this here, is stored in a ropes attribute that I use in the materials. So uh, I'm just going to go up here, shader editor. So if you go to the materials, you can see that uh, I'm getting the ropes attribute and uh, using it to create a mask, to add an effect to show that the ropes are really tied, tied onto the mesh. Uh, so it's just uh, the same texture, but uh, I change the colors a bit using uh, the RGB curve and uh, mix those using the attribute ending up with uh, this. I do the same thing for the hand. Uh, let me just go back to geometry nodes here. I uh, look at the curves, change the seed. I have these cuts. Again, I'm doing the same thing uh, that we have already looked at. So turning these into curves and uh, setting up uh, the ropes. I think the ropes here are too tight to 30. Yeah, so you, you, you can do quite a lot of things. I, I show you how to make ropes like this really easily in the course. That should be covered very easily. And uh, let me switch back to all the ropes. And I can see I can adjust the seed to get something different. And just look at that. I can change the tightness of the, this rope just by changing the scale here. It's a, a procedure way of tying ropes on different things. And... Uh, the only problem here is because we are using a boolean uh, mesh here, the ropes won't follow the animation of uh, the curve. If you want the ropes to follow the animation of the curve of the object, uh, what you have to do is first apply the modifier. So for example, here, I can just make a copy here, shift D and apply uh, this. Let me see. So I have uh, this. Uh, I don't need the hand for this. So I'm just going to select the hand remove that so that I only have uh, the ropes. I think I use too many subdivisions, uh, but so I can decimate this if I want. And now I can just parent this to the same, uh, deform this with the same amateur. So, but uh, let me first disable the other. So now you can see that uh, the hand and the rope is also following uh, the ropes as you'd expect. And I think uh, that's just perfect. 
that's it if you want to check out the geometry nodes course links are going to be in the description um yeah see you in the next video